Okay, hi folks. This is the uh, second activity that I did in lab number one, and basically it is this problem. Uh, let me assume that these are all all in inches, and as I mentioned uh, in the other videos, uh, the, the way I'm doing it is not necessarily the best way or the fastest way, but that's one particular approach. So my strategy is actually to create the the piece on the left. Okay. Oh, actually, let me let me the piece on the left, which is this, and then then pad it, and then add that circle at the end. There are other ways of doing it too. Uh, so uh, let me go ahead. Uh, when I start Katia, at least at our establishment, uh, university, it, the product file automatically pops up. Uh, I don't like to because these are part part problems, not assembly problems, and uh, some there are some people in the class who are novice, you know, they basically it's the first time that they're seeing it here. Uh, I'm not going to do it in the product, so I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to start with a new new part file, not product, see, part. Okay, and uh, I'll just call this thing uh, activity two. Activity two. Lab one, lab one, okay, you say all right? Uh, all right, so my my uh, inch, my units are in inches, therefore I'm not gonna change it, I've already, I've already changed it, changed it so that you can actually type in actual inches instead of typing, uh, you know, uh, uh, in meters or whatever. So, uh, and this is how we did the tools options, under parameters and measures, under units, notice that the length is assumed to be inches. You can change it to anything that you want, but I don't want to do that. Okay. So on the left side, I will draw that cross section that you see. You really have to go back and forth between uh, between uh, this drawing and uh, uh, what you're going to do. It, it's 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 a good idea to print this and put it in front of you. But uh, anyway, uh, so let me go ahead and proceed. So like that, like so, and so we're going to clean it up. We're going to clean it up. You know, for a reason, for a reason that you see, I want to make this thing symmetric with respect to that vertical axis. So left line, control, right, oh, let's start with the center one. Uh, left line, control, right line, control, the middle axis. Use the uh, constraint defined in the dialog box, make it symmetric. Left line, control, right line, control, middle axis. Once again, click on it, you say symmetric, okay? Notice that because of what you did, you can move this thing and it symmetrically changes. Okay, good. Now let's put some dimensions here. So uh, let me just check to see what this dimension is to begin with. Right now it's four, and I want based on the drawing that we have, this should be this should be 1.75. Just so that things don't uh, flash in front of my eyes, let me uh, let me do the following. Let me do the following. Let me delete this. Uh, well, actually, yeah, let me delete that. Select it, you delete it. Okay, let me start from the bottom. So here, uh, uh, the constraint or dimension between this line and that line, that is based on the drawing that I have is, I think it's point, point 0.75, yeah, point 0.75. Okay, and the dimension from uh, this entire dimension is going to be 1.75 1. 1. 1. I think, 1.75. All right, and uh, this dimension is uh, 3.25. 3.25. All right. And uh, let's see now, from 
actually this is not right this dimension yeah that that's uh the way i approached it is not necessarily a good way but that being the case let me change this thing to uh two inches okay and the reason i did this is what is this okay let's undo this good the problem that i have here because of did not i didn't think about it is that uh, this dimension is two this dimension is 3.25 okay so basically it looks like i'm going to be doing that piece and then extrude it and add the rest later on however because of the way i have done it uh it requires some uh, cleaning up so let's go here uh, these things it looks like these are based on what i have is uh based on the drawing that i have is 0.5 and so it is now of course i don't have to dimension this because everything is symmetric because everything's symmetric if this is 0.5 this is 0.5 i don't have to do that uh now uh why is this thing 5.71 this should have been 3.25, yeah, 3.25. Uh, no, not not 3.25. Sorry, two. <laughs> should have been two. Good. Okay. There. What you see here, in front of you, is actually this piece. This piece. Okay. Not from there all the way to the right of it. Okay. So exit. Exit, pad it by 2.25. However, 2.25 is this distance. Where is that? Is this distance? 2.5 is distance. So I'm going to do uh, uh, 1.25 to the left, 1.25 to the right. So I'm going to do a mirror extent, but 1.25. Like so. Now, the reason I did this is that I want to be able to easily go and draw this uh, rectangle here and pocket it, okay? And I, this rectangle has to be nice and symmetric, so that's why I did the mirror extent. So on that face, I will sketch a rectangle, move this thing out of the way, like so. Make sure it's nice and symmetric, so left line control right line control middle axis we make it symmetric okay now notice that when i move this thing this symmetrically changes okay good and now we put dimensions that we want for example uh from the uh let me see what's the drawing that we have from the Yeah, from the top, top line to this bottom should be 0.75. So here, let's, this is the normal view. So dimension from this top line, uh, from this line to this line, we want it to be 0 0.75. That's fine. I can't see clearly whether this is actually... 0.15 or 0.75 it looks like 0.75 yeah that looks like 0.75 fine so there is my rest of this exit and pocket all the way through to last and there we are i think that's what we got the only thing is that that oh yeah the, the, there is a there is an issue here let's go back to that sketch this is the sketch this length i'd have to dimension it and that dimension based on the drawing is 1.5 1.5 and there we are now it's better 1.5 because you see i totally ignored this when i drew that rectangle on that face i totally ignored the fact that this actually is 
0.25. Now I don't have to dimension this, but if I do, it's going to be 0.5. Because of the way I did the problem, if I measure, if I, uh, if I measure from here to here, unless I made a mistake, it should be 0.5, and it is 0.5. Cancel. Good, good. We're almost done with this piece. So on that uh, on that bottom face, on that bottom face, I will sketch. Now you want to fit it. Here is the fit icon, right there. So this is a piece that you see there. Okay, the fit icon is uh, this. So and normal view is right there. Okay. Uh, which I want to draw. Okay, I want to draw this. Uh, let me see which one is that's kind of hard to okay so at the bottom at the bottom this is the approach that i'm going to take i want to draw something like this like this okay so uh, the bottom is i believe is Basically, it means because of the way I did it, it's kind of ugly. So uh, let me see. Yeah. So uh, here's here's what I'm going to do. Okay. So on this bottom, it's going to go like that. So I'm going to sketch uh, on that. Yeah, I'm going to sketch. I'm going to clean it up in a minute. Not to worry. Now you can see what I'm doing here. We'll clean it up. We'll clean it up. Don't worry. Okay, good, good, good. So let's look at the normal view. Aha. So first of all, I want that center to be on this axis. So this control uh, that axis to make it coincident. Very good. I want this line. Okay. I want this line and that, not this, cancel. I want this line, control that line to be coincident. Okay. Uh, this line, control that line to be coincident. Yeah. And I think that did it. Oh, if I'm not 100% sure, I want this line and the line, line above it to be also coincident. I think they are, though. I think they are. If not, you're going to get some kind of a message. Let me see now. Yeah. Exit. Okay, and then we pad it up. You may have done this thing differently in the class. Flip the direction by a height of 0.5. As I said, there's many different ways of doing these these problems. Minus 0.5, and there we are. Now, notice that there is a gap here, and this means that I do not have complete coincidence. There is a gap probably in between these two. You can see that. You see, so those two lines they look coincident, but they were not. So go back to that sketch. This line control that line. See these two lines to be coincident. It's very easy to miss. Exit. Now you will see a, a line there. Okay. We're almost done. So on that face, I will sketch a circle. On purpose, I'm going to do it like that. Circle here. But listen, I want these two circles to be uh, concentric. Right? So... One way of doing it, say this this circle, control that circle, concentric. Or you could have done this point, the center, and that axis to be uh, coincident, either way. Uh, dimension this, and diameter, it looks like diameter is one in the drawing, and you have this, and exit, 
and pocket. Uh, that way. Yeah. There we are. So what you see there is that drawing. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so let's see, I could do it if file save manage it, file, save management. So this thing, I want to put it in a folder, uh, in a folder that I created, it was called uh, uh, what was it called, activity one, Give me this. Uh, lab on activities, right? So I'm going to make a folder here. I'm going to call it activity, activity two, lab two, lab one. And we say okay. And okay, and we're done. All right, folks, good luck.